click that subscribe button and smash that bell icon. Yeah! This is the show that doesn't suck, where we test products and gadgets, so welcome back to another episode of Try This. On today's episode, I have a very, very cool, special gadget. It's called the AppBot Riley. The AppBot Riley is a 360-degree, 720p mobile security camera. And by mobile, I mean it is mobile. You connect the robot to your iPhone or Android device through Wi-Fi, and then you can control it from anywhere within the world, drive it around your house, and it has some super cool features that we're gonna get into right now. You get the AppBot Riley, you get the standard tank treads, you get the charging base, you get a micro USB cable, and you get a wall adapter, standard USB. That is what comes in the box, folks. So the first thing I really like about the AppBot Riley, it has these tank treads that you can see right here, and they are removable. You can pop them off, and they come in a bunch of different colors. I only have the standard ones that came with it, and they're really not hard to pop back on either. So if you'd like to customize your AppBot Riley, you can do so. Um, not quite sure how much they cost. I didn't see the replacements on Amazon. I did, however, I picked up the AppBot Riley on Amazon at the time of this recording for $149. And no, this video is not sponsored in any way, shape, or form. These are completely 100% my opinions. So one really cool thing that I like about the AppBot Riley is it has this dock and you can plug it in on the left side or the right side. And the coolest feature is within the app, if you drive the AppBot Riley right up to the dock to where it can visually see the dock, there is a infrared light that will appear um, on the charging base and that will allow Riley to line itself up with the dock. The dock will spin around and align itself with the robot as well. And then the robot will drive right up onto the dock and charge itself. Now, how cool is that? That's just super cool. Not quite as cool as a Roomba vacuum cleaner where it can find the dock from literally anywhere within your house. This one, you have to have the dock within view of the robot, but still really, really cool. So you can charge it when it gets low, whether you're at the office or you know on vacation, just super neat. So on the bottom here, you can see there is a power button. If you hold it down, it will power on. And if you hold it down, Again, for another few seconds, it will power off. There's also a reset button, which you would do the exact same thing to reset it. Just hold it down for so many seconds. Um, this would be on the front, your HD 720p camera, and this would be your infrared night vision. And yes, I did say night vision. This thing has automatic night vision. So when it goes into a dark room or a closet or the lights are turned off, you can even see in the dark. So when those creepy bed intruders come in during the night, he's climbing in your windows, he's snatching your people up. You got him, you got him on video. Another really cool feature is right here on the back, I don't know if you can see these three small little um, holes, that is for two-way audio communication. You can hear what's going on in the room as well as talk to other people in the room. Now those people won't be able to see um, the person on the other end of the robot, but at least you'll be able to see them and talk with them whether you want to check up on your dog and say hi to it or you want to check up on you know your kid that's at home, make sure they're doing okay and whatnot. One thing I did want to mention about the AppBot Riley, just listen to that motor noise. Every time you have the two-way audio on and you're driving it, that motor noise comes across in your audio and it's quite annoying. So unfortunately, I was not able to um, demonstrate the two-way audio communication because every time I would get my phone close enough to record the two-way audio, you would get horrendous feedback, and that's because it's really meant to be used from a different room or really a long distance to communicate with other people. When the robot is stationary, the audio has a little bit of background noise, but it's definitely loud enough and clear enough on the phone and the robot for each person to hear what's going on. So on the bottom of the AppBot Riley, 
next to the power and reset buttons, you can see there's these metal contacts, and that is what will come into contact with the little prongs right here on the base station, and that allows it to charge. It's not inductive charging like your uh, smartphone would be, but um, more like contact charging, I guess, is what they would call it. I don't really know. But the base station does have some rubber grippers on it so that if you have it on kind of a slick surface, it won't slide around. I tried it on both carpet and hard floors, and it seemed to work just well on both. Um, it did work a little bit better on a hard surface because, of course, the carpet makes it kind of squishy and whatnot, but um, I didn't have any trouble with it finding the charging station. As long as it was able to seed the charging station, that was, you know, it worked. Went back to the charging station and charged. Oh, the AppBot Riley. I needed to mention this. The AppBot Riley, these tank treads that I talked about earlier in the video that come off, they're actually super grippy. I was extremely pleased that if you have any kind of like a slant or a slope. Now it can't go up and down stairs, but if you were to make like a ramp over the stairs, it can easily climb that. Another cool feature, um, kind of relating to the tank treads, if the AppBot Riley were to somehow like tip over like this, you know, if it were kind of situated like that, you can push a button called the stuck mode button. I don't know if they have a name for it, but there's a button you can push and it will rock itself back and forth and rewrite itself. It even works if it's face down. Now I have not tested it. I would imagine if I put it on the side like this, it's not gonna flip back over. I did try it upside down and it did work. And that was awesome. That was really awesome actually. Now when you have the AppBot Riley docked on the docking station, let's say you've been driving it around and it's low on power. So you stick it back on the docking station. The security camera fun doesn't stop there. Oh no, you do not have to wait for it to recharge before you can use it. You can actually, while it's on the dock, um, control it through the app still and spin the robot on the dock. The dock will actually spin itself and you can check out what's going on in the room that it's docked in as well as set it up to do motion detect. That way if someone walks in front of it or walks through the room, it will detect motion and alert you. Yes, it will alert you on your smartphone of motion. So now we're going to get into some of the features that the app has and I will show you a little uh, demo of the app and give you a tour. So this is the AppBot Riley app interface. On the left side going from top to bottom you have the video resolution toggle and it goes from low, medium and high. Below that you have the information button which shows you all the information about the robot such as battery status and firmware version. Below that is the motion detect which will allow the robot to capture any motion in the room. Below that you have the button to change the password on the robot and below that you have face detect mode which allows it to track a face and record and follow the person around and below that you would have where you would access all of your previously recorded clips and photos. On the right side going from top to bottom you would have toggle on and off the night vision. Below that is to toggle on and off the controls. Below that is the button you would push if the robot tips over and gets stuck. Below that you would toggle on and off the two-way audio communication and below that is the dock and undock button. On the top of the um, app going from left to right you would have battery status, take photo button, record video button, and the button to toggle on and off the settings. That is a look at the AppBot Riley app interface. One other thing I did want to mention is that the robot actually records all of the video clips directly to your phone. There are no monthly subscription fees and no cloud services and I thought that was absolutely fantastic. So these are the things that I absolutely loved about the AppBot Riley. I love the fact that you can drive it from room to room which essentially means you only need one security camera instead of one for each room. I love that the AppBot Riley also has two-way audio communication so you can talk to your loved one anywhere within your house. The night vision is super cool and useful and it worked really well and I love that even when the lights are out you can still capture whatever's going on in the room. Also the fact that the robot can get itself unstuck if it were to tip over, that's another great feature that's very handy so your security camera buddy isn't stuck while you're away on vacation or at work. Also being able to still use the camera while it's on the dock recharging is another fantastic feature.
So I think the best feature of all is that the security camera has no monthly subscription fees. There's no cloud services. There's no SD cards. It records all the media directly to your phone, and that's fantastic. The things I didn't like about the AppBot Riley and the real reason that I decided not to keep it were mainly just preferences and my use case scenarios. See, I bought the robot with the intent of using it to um, check in on my dog, Bailey, while I was away on trips. And I quickly realized that if I left Bailey when she gets old enough and she's not in her destroy everything puppy mode, if I were to leave her out with the security camera, she's probably going to pick it up and eat it or chew on it. So that really doesn't work. And then I realized if I leave her in her cage where she's out of harm's way and can't cause any destruction, well, then I might as well just have a standard, much cheaper um, security camera or nanny cam or baby monitor, whatever you want to call it. And that's really the reason that I decided not to keep the thing. That, combined with the fact that the motor noise getting into the two-way audio is annoying, and the fact that it just takes way too long to drive it from room to room, I didn't want to really have to sit there, you know, for five or ten minutes or however long driving it from room to room. So that is where we come to the conclusion, and I will give it a crapometer score. So you may or may not know that on the crapometer, a higher crap score means, ugh, do not buy this product, it's absolutely terrible, and a less number of craps means that it's awesome and you should run out right now and get one for yourself. So being that this product really only has two faults that will affect everyone, no matter your use case scenario, that being the motor noise in the two-way audio communications and the slow travel time from room to room, I'm going to give this a crapometer score of 1. That means you should definitely run out and buy this product immediately. Click the Amazon affiliate link in the description box below and enjoy. This has been another amazing episode of Try This and the AppBot Riley. If you'd like to purchase your very own AppBot Riley, there is a link in the description box below where you can purchase it through Amazon. As always, hit that subscribe button and smash that bell icon so that you can become a part of the notification squad because why wouldn't you? Try This is awesome. And as always, head on over to patreon.com slash tiltedtripodmedia where you can become a member and unlock the future of video. Thank you, everyone. I love you all so much, and I will see you again in another episode of Try This.